Mars is the world next door, the nearest planet on which human explorers could safely land. Although, Although it's, it's sometimes, sometimes as warm as a New England October, Mars is a chilly place, so cold that some of its thin carbon dioxide atmosphere freezes out at, at the, the winter, winter pole. pole. There are pink skies, fields of boulders, sand dunes, vast extinct volcanoes that dwarf anything on Earth. A, a great, great canyon, canyon that, that would, would cross, cross most of the United States. Sandstorms sand sometimes reach half the speed of sound. Strange, Strange bright, bright and dark, dark markings on the surface. Hundreds of ancient river valleys. Mountains shaped like pyramids. And, and many, many other, other mysteries. mysteries. Mars is a storehouse of scientific information. Important in its own right, but also for the light it might cast on the origins, origins of, of life, life and, and on safeguarding the environment of the Earth. If, if Mars, Mars once had abundant it, liquid water, what happened to it? How did a once Earth-like world become so parched, frigid, and comparatively airless? Is there something important on Mars that we need to know about our own fragile, fragile world? world? The prospect of human exploration of Mars is ecumenical, remarkable for the diversity of supporting opinion it embraces. Edwin E. Buzz Aldrin, Apollo 11 astronaut. Joseph P. Allen, shuttle astronaut. Neil A. Armstrong, Apollo 11 astronaut. James M. Biggs, former administrator, NASA. Tom Bradley, mayor of Los Angeles. George Brown, congressman from California. Johnny Carson, talk show host, NBC. Franklin R. Chang Diaz, shuttle astronaut. William E. Colby, former director, Central Intelligence Agency. The exploration of Mars is being advocated on many grounds. As a potential scientific bonanza, for example, on climactic change, on the search for past or present life, on the understanding of enigmatic Martian landforms, and, and on, on the, the application, application of new knowledge to understanding our own, our own planet. planet. As, As a means to a robotic precursor and support missions to Mars, of reviving a stagnant U.S. planetary program. As, as providing, providing a coherent focus and sense of purpose to a dispirited NASA for many future research and development activities on an appropriate time scale and with affordable costs. Other signers include... Michael Collins, Apollo 11 astronaut. Walter Cronkite, special correspondent, CBS News. Hugh Downs, host, ABC News 2020. Bonnie J. Dunbar, shuttle astronaut. John M. Fabian, former director, space programs, U.S. Air Force, and astronaut. Robert A. Frosch, former administrator, NASA. The Reverend Theodore M. Hesper, President Emeritus, University of Notre Dame. Shirley M. Hofstetler, attorney, former secretary of education. Other reasons are... It's giving a crisp and unambiguous purpose for the U.S. space station. Needed for in-orbit assembly, of the Interplanetary Transfer Vehicle, or vehicles, and for study of long-duration life support for, for space, space travelers travel. as the next great human adventure able to excite and, and inspire, inspire people, people of all ages the world over. As, as an, an aperture to enhance national prestige and technological development. As a realistic and possibly unique opportunity for the United States and the Soviet Union to work together in the spotlight of world public opinion and with other nations on behalf, on behalf of, the, of human the human species. As a model and stimulant for mutually advantageous U.S.-Soviet cooperation here, here on, on Earth. Earth. As a means for economic reconversion of the aerospace industry, if and when massive reductions in strategic weapons, long promised by the United States and the Soviet Union, are, are implemented. implemented. As a worthy application of the traditional military virtues of organization and valor to great expeditions of, of discovery, discovery as a step towards the long-term objective of establishing humanity as a multi-planet species. species. Or simply as the obvious response to a deeply felt perception of the future calling. Other signers include... Jean J. Kirkpatrick, former U.S. Ambassador to the United Nations. Louis Lamour, author. Spark M. Matsunaga, Senator from Hawaii. Linus Pauling, Nobel Laureate, Chemistry and Peace. Gregory Peck, actor. Esther Peterson, consumer advocate. Rockaway Patron, former Apollo launch director. Sidney Poitier, actor, director. Advances in technology now make feasible 
a systematic process of exploration and discovery on the planet Mars, beginning with robot roving vehicles and sample return missions, and culminating in the first footfall of human beings on another planet. The cost would be no greater than that of a single major strategic weapon system. And if shared among two or more nations, the cost to each nation would be less. No, no major, major technological advances seem to be required. And the step from today to the first landing of humans on Mars appears to be technologically easier than the step from President John Fitzgerald Kennedy's announcement of the Apollo program on May 25th, 1961 to the first landing of humans on the moon on July 20th, 1969. Richard D. Rutan, President, Voyager Aircraft Incorporated. V. June Scobie, Chairman, Challenger Center for Space Science Education. Harrison H. Schmidt, former Senator from New Mexico, Apollo astronaut. Russell L. Schweikert, Apollo astronaut. Glenn T. Seaborg, Nobel Laureate, Chemistry, former Chairman, U.S. Atomic Energy Commission. Lily Tomlin, actress. Virginia Trimble, Professor of Physics, UC Irvine. James Webb, former Administrator, NASA. And Sidney Wolf, Director, Kitt Peak National Observatory. We represent a wide diversity of backgrounds in the fields of science, technology, religion, the arts, politics, and government. Few, Few of us adhere to every one of the arguments listed here, but we share a common vision of Mars as an historic constructive objective for the technological ambitions of the human species over the next few decades. We, we endorse, endorse the, the goal of human, human exploration, exploration of Mars and, and urge that, that initial, initial steps, steps towards, towards its implementation be taken, taken throughout, throughout the world. world. At the Case for Mars conference, Carl Sagan argued that the exploration of Mars could represent a new epoch in human history. The first voyage of men and women from our planet to Mars is, it seems to me, the key step in transforming us humans into a multi-planet species. Is there not some special obligation of the two principal spacefaring nations the two nations that have burdened our planet with 60,000 nuclear weapons, to put things right, to use this technology for good and not for evil, to blaze on behalf of every human being the trail to Mars and beyond. Thank you very much. The Planetary Society is a non-profit, tax-exempt membership organization dedicated to planetary exploration and the search for extraterrestrial life. It has been instrumental in promoting international exploration of the planets as an essential step in maintaining peace and in promoting human understanding. The Society believes that high technology can be used with foresight and wisdom. Dreams are maps. It is time to set sail for the 21st century.